Hi, I'm Julia Keough and I'm the CEO of Health Imperatives and we're honored to have been invited to host this exhibit tonight in honor of Sexual Assault Awareness Month, which is What Were You Wearing? The purpose of this exhibit is to really address um, the problem of people victim blaming and asking that question, what were you wearing when someone was sexually assaulted? And as you'll see, it doesn't matter. There are all sorts of outfits and all sorts of people from children to elderly people who are assaulted and it's never about what they were wearing. On behalf of the staff and the board, thank you so much for coming um, to this really important exhibit, what you were wearing, what were you wearing. Um, Today, hopefully, after the end of this exhibit, you have a chance to talk to some of our amazing staff who are here from our New Day Rape Crisis Center. I don't know if you want to raise your hands. Um, and also, just to give you a brief overview, Health Imperatives is a comprehensive um, multi-service organization that works in Brockton, Greater Brockton, New Bedford, the South Shore, South Coast, Cape and Island, to provide an array of services for people who have not had equal access to opportunity or quality care. Um, and we really work to address um, services, or for, to address um, people who have experienced trauma. And so we're honored um, to be here today um, to show this really important exhibit, um, What Were You Wearing? Because um, as you can see around the room, sorry, um, there's a lot of information about how this exhibit um, came about. Um, but basically, it started in 2013 at the University of Arkansas and is one of many projects worldwide to address this misconception that what someone was wearing has anything to do with sexual assault. And it's really powerful, as I'm sure you've walked through, to see the diversity of outfits, the diversity of ages, and I think that really highlights the fact that sexual violence is violence and it happens to everyone at every phase in their life, or it can happen to anyone at any phase in their life. And this exhibit was designed to address that misconception in order to stop victim blaming and to highlight um, how, how prevalent and inexcusable and inexplicable sexual violence is. Um, so we're hoping that this will allow people to engage and talk more openly about sexual violence as well. Again, it's taboo, just like um, a lot of the people who we serve who feel that they're embarrassed or ashamed to come forward to talk when there's no one who should be ashamed other than the perpetrator. And we're hoping that having these conversations and drawing attention to this will reduce people's uh, fear of getting help um, and will really hopefully prevent sexual violence in the future so that people are more aware and um, can um, can address it before it happens. So again, um, we're hoping that any survivor who comes and sees this exhibit or any exhibit throughout the world around this will be understood and heard and, and recognize that it's not them and that this is a universal problem and um, we're here to break that cycle of victim blaming. And so um, with that, I think I'll turn it over to Brittany Badgett. And I just have to say, it's such an honor to be here with this amazing staff um, because every day they're working not only to um, work with people who have experienced sexual violence but prevent it from happening in the first place. And so thank you to all of you. And then finally, we're joined by Vilma Uribe, who is the executive director of the Governor's Council um, to address sexual and domestic violence and human trafficking. Um, and I think that really speaks volumes that Vilma and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts are really dedicated to addressing all forms of sexual violence. Um, thank you very much, Vilma, for coming. And thank you um, for a representative from the mayor's office. The mayor of Brockton is also um, a, a big partner in our efforts to um, address, address sexual violence. So, and thank you all. All right, thank you all for coming. I wanted to take a second to read the poem. So this exhibit was based off of a poem that was written by Mary Simmerling, and the title of the poem is What I Was Wearing. What I was wearing was this. 
From the top, a white t-shirt, cotton short-sleeved and round at the neck. This was tucked into a jean skirt, also cotton, ending just above the knees and belted at the top. Underneath all this was a white cotton bra and white underpants, though probably not a set. On my feet, white tennis shoes, the kind one plays tennis in, and then finally, silver earrings and lip gloss. This is what I was wearing that day, that night, that 4th of July in 1987. You may be wondering why this matters, or even how I remember every item in such detail. You see, I have been asked this question many times. It has been called to my mind many times, this question, this answer, these details. But my answer, much awaited, much anticipated, seems flat somehow. Given the rest of the details of that night during which at some point I was raped. And I wonder, what answer, what details would give comfort, could give comfort to you? my questioners, seeking comfort where there is, alas, no comfort to be found. If only it were so simple. If only we could end rape by simply changing clothes. I remember also what he was wearing that night, even though it's true that no one has ever asked. Thank you. So just some informational pieces. Um, this is the installation in our kitchen area right out to your left. If you are a survivor and you do have a narrative that you would like to share, we have space in there where you're able to write that out. Um, you can keep it confidential or if you would like us to use it at future exhibits, you can also place it in that box. So there's two boxes in there. We also do have our sexual assault counselors that are all around the room and the building. If anyone needs to talk to someone, please feel free to reach out to one of our staff. Um, and then we do have our resources in the front as well as a sign-in sheet, so please do sign in. And then lastly, we have plenty of food. So please indulge yourself. And if you have any questions, please find one of us and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you.